I can subtract integers. The first number tells you what to start with. So we're going to start with six negatives. Then we need to take away two negatives. So we can cross off one, two. Oops. One, two. We are left with four negatives. So negative four. Unfortunately, they're not always this easy. Let's try a more complicated one. This one, we need to start with one negative and take away five positives. Oh no, there's no positives. Well, let's think back to elementary school. Let's maybe start with a number two and let's add zero. Let's add zero over and over again. It doesn't really matter how many times. Whenever you add zero to a number, the number stays the same. So we are left with two. We can use the same concept. We're going to add zero pairs in the form of a red and a yellow together until we have enough yellows. So plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero, plus zero. We can stop now. We have five yellows. Let's cross off those five positives. One, two, three, four, five, and we'd be left with one, two, three, four, five, six reds. So negative six. Man, that's confusing. Let's think about it differently to try to make sense of this. Let's say we have a cup of boiling water. That's gonna be a positive and a large ice cube to represent a negative. If we mix them together, we're gonna have zero because we won't have hot water and we won't have any ice. So let's imagine taking an ice bath. Brr. If we remove ice, what would happen to the temperature of the water? Well, it would get warmer. Maybe not a lot warmer, but it wouldn't be quite as cold. How else could we get the same result? Well, if we want warmer bath water, we could either take out the ice or we could add hot water. So let's say our bath has seven large ice cubes in it and we take away six ice cubes. It's going to warm up a little bit. We could get the same result if we did um, negative seven, which is what we started with, but instead adding six cups of hot water. So instead of getting rid of the ice, we can add hot water to also get rid of the ice. If you're taking a really hot bath and it's too hot, you can take away uh, positives or the heat. You could try to make this uh, fire smaller by taking away some of the sticks. We could also get cold water by adding some ice. So instead of doing minus positive four, so instead of taking away the hot fire, we can do plus negative four. We can add some ice. We'll get the same result. So to summarize, instead of subtracting, you can add the opposite it'll make it way easier to solve. So instead of doing six minus nine, we can do six plus negative nine. We change the subtraction to addition and change the positive nine to a negative nine. Then if we used our addition strategies, we get negative three as the answer. For this one, we keep the three, we're gonna change it to addition and add the opposite. The opposite of negative seven is positive seven. Ooh, that one's easy to solve now. It's 10. Let's practice rewriting some more. Keep the first number, change it to addition, make the next number the opposite. Let's try another. Keep the first number, change it to addition, add the opposite. The opposite of positive five is negative five. Keep the first number, change it to addition, add the opposite. Keep the first number, change it to addition, add the opposite. The opposite of positive five is negative five. 